What's up you guys, it's Rob here. AMC had an absolutely beautiful day today. We hit a pre-market low of $31.10. We opened the day at $32 and we just soared, volume stepped in and we have ourselves a beautiful green day. Now we need to enjoy this green day because we just got done essentially being drugged through the mud guys. So enjoy this. I am absolutely stoked about this because we closed the day at $36 and then we had a run up here in the after hours at $39.87. Now I know I say take pre-market and after hours with a grain of salt, but it definitely is making things look a little interesting going into tomorrow. Also, I did some due diligence for you guys on FTDs and really based around AMC saying, hey, we're looking to dilute the stock or have our shareholders approve dilution or AMC selling 8.5 million shares to Fudrick and then Fudrick selling them the same day. There definitely seems to be a correlation between these events and FTDs, guys, and it's definitely something that you need to put your tinfoil hat on, but I think it needs to be mentioned because something is definitely going on here, and Adam Aaron is playing like four or six D dimensional chess with the shorts right now because he has them running and going guys. But if you can do me a huge favor, drop a like down on this video, hit that subscribe button, make sure that you ring that bell for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help me out a lot guys. Also, if you're looking for a wonderful trading community to join, there's a discord link down below in the description of this video, Penthouse Stocks Discord. It's a Discord community that I am a part of and I am an exclusive member of the Discord, which makes you eligible to see the trade alerts and receive access to all the due diligence within the Discord. And it is 110% worth it in my personal opinion. I've made my membership feedback on a single play alone. Also, if you do want to join as an exclusive member, you can receive 20% off at checkout by using code FinTech. And if you're curious about the profits from the trade alerts, we have a screenshots profits channel within the discord and you can see all the profits that we have received from the trade alerts guys but let's dive on in and take a look at this beautiful chart so like i said here in the pre-market 31 dollars and 10 cents and then we had a nice rally here and pop out of the morning amc had some morning wood which was beautiful to see i'm sorry i had to say it we had a pullback but the huge thing that i see here is apes coming in and just going i'm buying the dip because boy is she at a discount right now guys now we did have a pullback here all the way down to about 32 dollars and 14 cents but the beautiful thing to see is this rally here into the close and then this rally here in after hours it is definitely lining up to be a very interesting day tomorrow and the reason why I say this is because with us closing above $35, we just put 22,806 puts out of the money, which is a lot of short interest. Now, the next point that we really need to be looking at is $40, which has got 15,000 15,110 puts that are currently in the money. If we can put those out of the money, that would be absolutely beautiful. And since we're gonna possibly run, be running green if we end up do running green, that would be really nice to see. We could start causing the market makers to have to delta hedge, which would further drive up the price. Because I can tell you right now, probably a lot of these $50, I would say probably from the $40 to the $50 strike, probably are not being hedged for right now because we've had so many red days in a row, guys. So if we definitely can cause the stock to run a little bit, it might cause for a very, very interesting day tomorrow. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. Now this is financial advice and I'm just some guy talking to a camera lens here on YouTube. But now talking about FTDs because failures to deliver are basically market makers unable to settle their responsibilities. Now, fast forward, fa my bad, not fast forward, rewind back to late April. Late April, we were talking about and panicking. AMC was looking to approve a 500 million share dilution. Well, on April 27th, AMC filed their statement saying we are removing this 500 million share dilution from this, from the stock because they don't they didn't want to dilute it. Us apes were really upset about it because essentially they would be doubling the whole entire total float of AMC. 
Well, if we take a look here at the FTDs, really starting in the last week of May, they start, not last week of May, first week of May, last week of April, they really started going up, which is directly around the time that the statement came out, which is really interesting. Maybe, like I said, tinfoil had time. It's not correlated, but there's definitely something going on here because if we take a look here June 1st, when Fudrick bought their... 8.5 million shares turned around sort of the same day and said that the company is overvalued. Well, if we take a look here on these three days, we have about 1.79 million shares failure to delivered 1.25 million. And then we have 5.44 million shares. Well, pulled out my whiteboard here. Hey, where did my whiteboard go? My bad guys. Here's my whiteboard. You add all three of those days up it's right around 8.5 million shares. I'm just saying, like I said, tinfoil hat time, but this is two instances. The first time Adam Aaron pulls back the dilution saying we're not going to do it. We see a crap ton of FTDs. And then we see about 8.5 million FTDs between the three-day period of Mudrick, or my bad, Fudrick, buying 8.5 million shares it's starting to look a little bit suspicious well hold on guys put your tinfoil hat on a little bit more because june 2nd amc comes out with their annual shareholder notice saying hey we're gonna have our annual shareholder meeting on july 29th you're looking for a 25 million share dilution to be approved on june 2nd and keep that in mind guys well on June 23rd, Adam Aaron's like, well, nope, we're going to pull that back, guys, because I heard you loud and clear. You don't want 25 million shares approved for dilution. So there is no shares approved for dilution or being voted on for the rest of 2021. The next time that we would see a vote like this would be in 2022, guys. So just going to say that again. There's no dilution taking place of AMC for the rest of 2021. The next time that we might even hear something related to dilution would be in 2022. Now, if we take a look here around the 23rd of June, and the actual formal statement to the SEC was filed on July 6th, saying that they are removing the statement from the annual shareholder meeting. Well, let's take a look back here in Ortex. Well, look at that. The FTDs spiked once again. Like I said, tinfoil hat time. I added all these numbers up, and it's around 31 million FTDs. You can't tell me that a company is looking for approval of 25 million shares to dilute the stock essentially, but keep in mind AMC would do this in smart forms like they have in the past instead of just doing dumb dilution for the sake of getting money back within the company. You can't tell me that 31 million FTDs and 25 million shares possibly being approved, well, looking to be voted for, my bad, I, I gotta stop saying approved, looking to be voted for at the annual shareholder meeting, it's starting to look a little bit, bit suspicious because this happened with Fudrick and it happened previously with the 500 million share dilution. Adam Aaron is playing, like, I don't know what dimensional chess with the shorts right now, but he has them running and going because each time it seems like there's an event that AMC says, no, nah, we're going to pull this back. We just wait a little bit of time and the FTDs spike. That's just me, guys. But that was the due diligence that I found. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this. And if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to let me know. But let's talk about the short interest. So our short interest increased 0.4%. We're sitting at 81.29 million shares, about 15.8% nine percent of our free float estimated currently shorted our shares on loan was around 100 million yesterday well guess what guys it's at 102.21 million shares if you take the free float on loan plus the estimated current short interest we're creeping close to 40 percent short position within amc not even to mention our utilization is sitting at 92.42 percent that is insane and guess what is starting to happen our cost of borrow fee max 118.9 percent average cost of borrow yes 1.7 1.73 percent but the fact that someone paid 118.9 percent apparently today to take a short position on amc tells me the shorts are doing everything that they possibly can to push the stock down 
Well, let's take a look here at Stocko Tracker. Let's scroll back up here. So we have 58,311 calls currently in the money at $38. We'll add another 10,555. We have 250,000 short shares of AMC available. The borrow 19,329 short ETFs. Well, we're seeing it 92.42% utilization. We're going to start seeing this number probably creep down, guys, because we're getting to the point where AMC is going to become a hard-to-borrow stock for shorting, which is going to drive that cost-to-borrow fee up, which ultimately is definitely going to help us because that means we're going to be seeing less shorts, and the shorts are going to have to pay a lot more money to start shorting the stock. Now, taking a look here at the options for the week, we have... 436,645 calls out of the money. So we have a substantial amount of calls out of the money. We have 473,164 puts out of the money, but we have 92,658 puts currently in the money. The huge thing that we need to do is put more puts out of the money. Gosh, that was difficult to say. But if we can put more puts out of the money, this is going to cost more to the, towards the shorts and ultimately help us apes a lot more by driving more calls in the money. Really, the huge strike to take a look at here is the $40 strike, which is within aiming distance that we possibly could get to. We touched $39.87 today. All we need to do is close at $40.01. Remember the battle of $801, battle of $1001? Well, maybe we need a battle of $40.01 to put those 15,110 puts out of the money, guys. But keep in mind, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, non-financial advisor or anything like that, but it is beautiful to see this amount of options volume traded today within the calls because it just shows the apes are here in full force and we are not leaving no matter how much they try to drive down the stock. We're going to buy the damn dip. We're going to hold ourselves and go to Tendy Town, guys. And that's what I have for you guys today. Hope you guys had a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.